so we have three analysts focused on crypto as this regional bank crisis came into full focus. It was fascinating to see Bitcoin and other crypto assets appreciate as regional banks like stocks are imploding. They are just like gold. That is right. Uh, and in fact, Bitcoin, so back to your earlier comments about Bitcoin, it was absolutely fantastic. Why? Because it, it got us to the point where I said to you, Art. Now, this is when Bitcoin was uh, was at two hundred and fifty dollars. Today, it's at twenty uh, seven thousand. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and so it was a six billion dollar network value or market cap. And today it's nearly half a trillion. Uh, but I said when it was at two hundred and fifty dollars, I said, Art, how big? This is a big idea. How big could this be? And your answer to me back then 2015 was, well, how big is the U.S. monetary base? And back then it was four and a half trillion. And I said, wow, this is a very big idea. And there, there were very few ways for us to put it into our portfolios. We needed to find GBTC. So I battle tested it personally as we were doing our homework and, you know, just bought a lot because it was a very big idea. This is innovation at its best. It is. And everyone's dismissing it. In fact, when we put it in our portfolios, uh, we were fairly new to the world then. And, you know, people dismissed us. Can I, can I, can, and again, interject here. The one thing that always bothered me about Bitcoin and all mm -hmm. these other cryptos, and forgive me for this, is why don't they find an algorithm that guarantees the value of the unit and lets the quantities vary? rather than controlling the quantity of the unit and letting the price vary. People care about price stability over the yes. long run. When I make a contract with someone for 20 years out, I want to know what the value of the unit numeraire mm -hmm. is going to be back then. Not the quantity of it. I want to know the mm -hmm. value of it. And yes. why can't these little geniuses, all these people with computers, I have a flip phone. Why can't you guys <laughs> find some, some cryptocurrency that has a stable value rather than a quantity fixed quantity. And that's what just bugs the living poop out of me about these cryptos. They need a well, value crypto, not a quantity crypto. So um, I, I want to revisit what we said about gold, right? Bitcoin mm -hmm. is a store of value. Yes. It's a store it of value. Is. It's an, an investment too. And an investment. So limited to 21 million units. So right now the inflation rate is 1.8% per year. That's how much is mine. Uh, in a couple of years, that will be cut in half uh, to less than 1%. And it'll keep getting cut in half until we reach that 21 million. We're at 19 million units right now. Uh, and so to watch crypto go from 19,000 to, I think it got to almost 29,000 in the span of a couple of weeks, uh, is um, proof positive that uh, exactly. that people do believe that it is a store of value, that the developers, the coders, the programmers who have built in this mathematical metering uh, are not going to change it. So it's a store, its role, it's playing one role of money. It's a store of value. There are others trying to leverage on top of the Bitcoin network and and uh, make it uh, less expensive uh, to uh, to use uh, and 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 faster. Uh, uh, so we'll see what happens there. But um, that's a store of value. 